In the previous video, we learned about Husky, which can ensure the code written by every developer is linted and formatted before being committed. All of this is great, there is room for improvement. At the moment, Husky lints and formats the entire code base. What would be better is if we could do that only on files that are about to be committed. And we can do that with a tool called LintStaged. Let's understand how to use it in our project. Begin by installing the package yarn add d lint hyphen staged. Next, in package.json, we add lint staged, which is an object, on every ts or tsx file. We're going to run ESLint on every TS, TSX, CSS, and SESS file. We're going to run Prettier. Finally, in the pre-commit script, we run npx lintstaged. Let's commit the changes, and now. If I make the same linting error, so not to be enabled, and try commit, you can see the same result. But this time we are verifying only the staged files and this is quicker. Similarly, if I mess up the format and commit, commit unformatted, you can see lint stage actually prevents an empty commit. I'll add a comment to make this work. Save the file, stage the changes, click on commit. And this time, LintStaged formats the code and automatically commits it as well. This is how you can make use of LintStaged to lint and format your code. Now you might ask, what about all the tests we have written so far? Well, a good place to verify if no tests are breaking is before pushing the code to your remote branch not in a pre-commit hook, but a pre-push hook. For that, run the command npx husky add dot husky slash pre-push. And we want npm test with watch all set to false. The command will create a pre-push script and if you now try push your code, all the tests will run and only if they pass, the code gets pushed to remote. I don't have a remote branch, so I'm going to leave this as an exercise for you. Let me know in the comment section if you are able to make it work. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.